Imagine if you could present something like I've got on screen here. Now that is easy to use. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. If we go to the Analyze tab of the Pivot Table and insert Slicer, so if we just tick Ship Mode on there and OK, what we get is sort of floating slicer here where we can click on any particular ship mode or more than one by clicking on this multi-select or I can click on this one clear it all and we're we're back to where we were now it's unfortunate that that does not format in the same way as that but you can see that the slicer as soon as you click on the slicer you get this options toolbar and you can just format it in the same way as your main pivot table. You can also resize it as much as you want. So you might want to do something like that. You might want to, for example, insert a few rows at the top and chuck that one in there. But it, it, it's not looking great. So I'll just show you a few of the options on here. So the main ones are in the align box, you can select snap to grid is ideal because then when you move it you'll be snapping straight onto the grid second one i want to draw your attention to is the number of columns and this you can do say that so that's already looking better we're snapping it to the grid so i think now we have something where we can sort of quickly say which ones which delivery methods we're interested in if any now of course we could take um sorry ship mode we could take that completely out of the pivot table there and then it would just show change the values depending on where we are so quick recap for all those technophobes out there that you're supplying data to give them a slicer so they can play with the data themselves they don't need to know anything about pivot tables you could even switch the pivot table field options off so that when they click on it they're not going to show they don't even need to know what a pivot table is to be able to play with that data. They'll think it's fantastic. You put it basically going to limit the amount of questions as well, potentially coming back to you because they'll be able to answer their own questions. Remember that you can download this spreadsheet yourself and have a play around. I'm going to leave it with all the finished examples in it as well. So you can, you've got great examples there of various different formats that you can use and layouts. In the next video, I'm going to be going into a lot more detail about pivot table formats and how you can make your pivot table look good. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, you don't want to miss that. You've been watching John on Up for Excel, where I'm going to help you get your Excel skills up so you can get these tasks times down.